It is peak season in the Great Smoky Mountains, y'all. This is just beautiful. Good morning. We're coming to you from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. It is peak fall colors. Look at those colors behind me. Just beautiful. Come on, let's go hike. Here we are on the uh, uh, Rich Mountain Loop which is uh, basically three trails put together to make a loop. It's um, Indian Grave Gap, uh, Crooked Arm, and Rich Mountain Trails make a, I think it's a five or a six mile loop. We've done it before, but not this time of year, so it should be pretty nice. Probably gonna see a bear. But I don't know, um, with Tammy here, maybe not. <laughs> Is that crow again that's always following us around? I don't know if you can hear him or not. But we're about, I don't know, a mile in, I guess, maybe. And uh, almost a mile. Still no bear. Lots of squirrels. Maybe one or two birds. And that crow. <laughs> <laughs> but it is absolutely bonny out here. <laughs> absolutely bonny, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit less road noise now too. I must be doing construction out here or something somewhere here heavy equipment. But uh Starting to get pretty quiet now. Look at these colors. It's just beautiful. <laughs> that looks pretty good too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. The sign says here that John and Lucretia Oliver, they arrived here in 1818, and they were one of the first settlers to settle here in Cades Cove. That this was built um, by the early 1820s. Um, it is a one and a half story cabin, um, and this is where they lived. 
and raise their family. The exact construction date is not known, but this is one of the oldest structures in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Members of the Oliver family lived here in Cates Cove for more than a century. Okay, going up the stairs. It's kind of dark up here, but you can kind of see lots of room up here. Probably stayed fairly warm too with that fireplace being below it. Very nice. All right, we just had a little stop off and snack at John Oliver's cabin. Now we're back on the trail. This is the second leg. This trail is Rich Mountain Trail. And this is where we start climbing. So now, now the struggle begins, but the colors are just gonna be spectacular. I don't know if they can be any better than they are down here, but we'll see. We're going to find out. Let's go. A little bit of fog hanging in there. Would be nice if it would blow out, like right now. We're here <laughs> filming. Yeah, but still, it's uh, just beautiful. Yeah, love these colors. It's absolutely beautiful like this. You know, each season. Except maybe for summer. Yeah. So the other three are really nice up here. They all have their... And if it wasn't for the heat and the bugs, the summer would be nice too. Yeah. But, yeah. Heat and bugs are just too much. Yep. Oh, you can see just a little bit oh, yeah. through there. There it is, a little clearing in the trees, and you can see Cade's Cove. Looks like it's got the sh sun shining down on it. There's no sun here, but looks like the sun might be shining on it. All right, Tammy's up here. Let's catch up to her. tree right here is incredible. Yeah. That, it's like a salmon. Yeah. Almost like a salmon color. It's pretty.
We are maybe at the top. I don't know. But we're on a ridge at a point. Suddenly got very breezy. And it is just gorgeous up here. Beautiful. I am so glad that we did this today. Carry on. Yeah. I think maybe we're finally. Ugh. Ugh. Walked right through a web. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know where that spider is. Hopefully not on me. <laughs> Ugh. It's incredible. You have to squint through the trees and leaves. Yeah. To see the other trees and leaves that are further away. <laughs> yeah. Spiderweb on me. Yeah. I think we're getting to a point. I hope. If we don't get to a point soon, then. I was thinking that the trail is just going to drop off somewhere a thousand feet and we'll have to turn around and walk back because we won't be able to manage the drop off. Well, maybe it'll be a zip line or something. But it seems to me like we've got to be very near the top because we're about five and a half miles in now. So. It's still, every corner we turn is just more and more color. Oh, sun. <laughs> A little bit of sun's not too bad with this breeze and yeah. blue skies. Wow. Kate's Cove Road down there, the loop road. A little bit of a, a little bit of a viewpoint. Can you see it? Oh it. yeah, I see the road. That might be either Sparks Lane or the other one that cuts across. Um, the two gravel roads that cut yeah. across. One of them Sparks, and the other yeah. one's oh. Help me out, East uh, Tennessee folks. <laughs> what is the name of that road? I don't know either. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll let you know in a minute what the name of it is. We'll put it down here at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a viewpoint to check out. you get a picture with your phone. It does better. Gorgeous. We're on our last mile. Getting ready to get into some sun. Still haven't seen any bear. Lots of bear poop, horse poop, no, no live bears. Oh well, maybe we'll see him on the way out in the car, nice and safe. Not on video though.
we just saw our first bear. Actually, he's heading up this hill. Can't see him, but I can hear him. He's either got out of earshot or stopped moving. But okay, saw a bear. Didn't get it on video though. Alright, we're coming up on the last trail junction and the end of the loop for us. We'll be back on the connecting trail that we were on earlier this morning. Looking yeah. on Ridge, the Scott Mountain 2.2, Ridge Mountain Loop Trail, half mile back to Cape Cove Loop Road. All right, let's do it. Let's finish it. Oh, do you see that? Get out of here. Beat it. filming right here. Beat it. Wow. That was cool. It actually still is kind of cool. As long as he keeps his distance. Getting any still shots? All right, let's not bug him. Let's move on. We might be smelling our food now. Don't run now. Pretty exciting. Got some video of some bear. Holy crap. <laughs> it's a good size one too. Yeah, yeah, he's too big. And he is leaving us alone, which is good. Make sure that he keeps going on his way and not yeah. coming back after. Yeah, he was smelling the air and I know the wind was blow our wind was blowing towards him, so get it with the garbage that we've got. So, I'm sure he's got it already. As long as he knows he can't get it from us, we should be okay. Making me go uphill the last little bit. <laughs> It'll be worth it. <laughs> There's a car waiting there at the end of it. And that'll take us to Mexican food. <laughs> oh, yum. It's been a good trail. It's been an awesome hike. That's had a little of everything. And we got some really good uh, bear video and some still photos, I believe. It's a little scary. But all in all, uh, been a good hike. It's definitely warmed up. I'd say it's yeah, hot. in the upper 70s right now. We're coming up on the end of the trail. All right, we did it. What an awesome hike we had. Beautiful 
yesterday, the James lied. He told me it was five to six miles. Yeah. 9.2 is what my watch says. Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. I also says 9.3. So, yeah. Yeah. The whole time it was off, but that was just But it was beautiful. It was worth it.